Well, I had been involved in tree planting projects in the wheat belt actually and developed a certain amount of expertise in rehabilitating degraded areas. And I noticed areas uh, near where I live needed the same attention. So about 20 years ago, I swung my attention and my skills to uh, working on City of Joondalup reserves. Well, growing up as a child, there was no TV, no iPads, so we spent all our time playing and observing the local bushland and appreciating our natural environment. And then when I retired 18 years ago, I discovered Yalagonga Regional Park and uh, all this 1,400 hectares of beauty. And I've been uh, riding around regularly and photographing and observing ever since. I guess that goes back to 1999 when the city uh, called a meeting, uh, it was held down in the Mullaloo Surf Club, looking for people who were interested in joining a group that could act as a community uh, reference group and to initiate actions along the uh, city's 17 kilometres of coastal strip. Uh, that resulted in uh, me joining the steering committee. Almost 25 years later, it's still going. I'm still on the committee and I just happen to be the current chair. Firstly, I suppose because we live, live opposite the lake and we just love watching the seasonal changes. We've been there for 25 years. Just really enjoy being involved in creating a better environment. I think all the people I've worked with, all the volunteers and their different stories and the different reasons why they're volunteering and the um, joy and skills they obtained and knowledge from being involved. My favourite memory would be photographing a uh, singing honey eater feeding on the nectar of a kangaroo paw. The kangaroo paw uh, I actually grew from a tiny little seed and planted it out into um, Lake Gulalal as part of the uh, Friends of Yalagonga group. So that was a very memorable memory for me. Look, I, I work along the coast and I've got many things that I cherish and have seen but I think the thing that stands out for me is go down to Picnic Cove uh, on the edge of Ye Lake Yalagonga at Edgewater just as the sun's risen and just watch the rays of sunshine come across the lake, listen to the birds and you hear the splashing of their wings, you hear the birds in the trees. It's just so beautiful, so wonderful. And it's, it's not just a single memory, it's something you can repeat almost every day of the year. It's just to me, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, my favourite memory of being involved in this is probably seeing our plants grow. You just take so much pride. We put them in, they're tiny little babies. We water them all summer, which is really hard. And then you just see them grow and the area that was just a barren paddock is now covered in trees and plants. And that's my favourite memory, just the satisfaction of seeing an area come back to life. Two things I really love. One is cycling around Lake Joondalup really love that we've done that for a long time and secondly actually the privilege of being able to work in the little channel that we work in where not many people get to actually see that little part of um, the environment which is really beautiful. I've seen uh, in the last 25 years a sustained commitment by community groups to look after their natural patch. Obviously we'd like more such groups but those groups that exist at present have done a fantastic job in conjunction with the City of Joondalup staff. I think the biggest change has been uh, people's awareness of their natural environment and uh, the beautiful coastline that we have in the City of Joondalup, their care and their protection for it. Well, I think there are a lot more people taking an interest now in um, the environment. The city started 25 years ago. I guess there was probably only one environmental group. That would have been the Friends of Yalagonga, who were just uh, celebrating their 30th anniversary this year. Uh, and since then, we've seen the Friends Groups for Natural Areas grow to, I think, at least 15 at the moment, which is uh, great. However, I think there is a conundrum here because I'm also involved in the WA Naturalist Club, which will be celebrating its centenary uh, next year. And we've seen in the last decade memberships go from drop dramatically from around about 800 to about 400. And, and that to me could be uh, what we could be facing uh, with our groups too, because we know that they're pretty much, uh, our volunteers are all elderly and we just don't seem to be getting younger people coming through. But um, it's just great to, to have seen what 
uh, has been achieved by the groups and let's hope they can continue. I guess the biggest change would be there's a much greater focus from the public on the negative changes in the environment and then hopefully there's been a sort of bit of a groundswell of, of local people trying to address that and do their little bit in their little parts of the world. I'm looking forward to the next generation stepping up and taking our place and continuing to expand the network of friends groups, community groups that are involved in looking after the natural areas within the city of Joondla. Well, in the next 25 years, I'm not quite sure I'll live that long, but um, I'd certainly like to see the uh, natural environment of the city of Joondla being maintained and improved on. It's also, I think, important that we um, protect our bushland a little bit more. I, I particularly work in uh, a Bush Forever site and there are not, I think the city's got quite a few Bush Forever sites, but they are not um, protected by legislation. So I'd like to, uh, from a high up government point of view, see those, uh, those protected better. I would like to, I hope we can see it from the people that come along and help with our planting, but just more people just really value the bush and the environment that we've got left and, and want to do something about it and not just do plantings but just come along and help with all the other work that we do. And also for people to teach their children to value uh, the, the bushland and to sort of love and respect it. And we're seeing that a little bit. We see a lot of kids come along and they're really keen to get involved. So that's my hope, that people just treasure what we've got and try and preserve it. I'd love to see in 25 years time, it would be wonderful if we could get some sort of um, an environmental uh, facility there that could be used by environmentalists within the region, uh, used as an educational program, um, resource for schools, that sort of thing. I would say ancient, diverse and special. Precious, diverse and beautiful. Probably lots of words, but I think it really comes down to uh, the three words that I'd say right now. It's in the balance. Beaches, parks and lakes. Oh, only three. Lake, uh, leisure and revegetation.